CBM TV, your only choice for sports. Sports Watch. Good evening, this is Sports Watch for this Monday. I'm Rohan Daly. Theodore Whitmore is back as head coach of the national football team after John Barnes and the Jamaica Football Federation departed company. And as we will hear in this report from Donald Oliver, the sudden separation has come six months into his contract. It's been a pleasure for me to work with them for the last six, seven months. The former England international will not be going to the CONCACAF Gold Cup despite the tournament falling within the timeline of his contract. Coach Barnes would certainly not mind staying. However, the JFF believes that appointing Coach Whitmore at this time would give him an opportunity to express himself as the head coach at the very important Gold Cup coming up. Despite Barnes admitting he wanted the Jamaica job permanently, was he looking elsewhere? Was that a breach of contract? And is the termination of his contract the end result of something brewing behind the scenes? Barnes will be going to the English League One side, Tranmere Rovers, but he didn't look too pleased at the press conference after Sunday's match. We understood that it was unlikely that it was going to be renewed, not through any fault of the JFF, but the fault that the money isn't available. So we understood that. So I fully expected it to go till after the Gold Cup. Now obviously once the situation has arisen, whereby the Tranmere situation is for next season, so it could have been after the Gold Cup, the JFF had a decision to make, and they took the decision. So the CONCACAF Gold Cup will not be on his resume. However, this well-taken goal by Kemar Daly ensured Barnes remained unbeaten as head coach of the national team. A 40-year jinx against the Panamanians was also broken as the Reggae Boys' previous win over the Central American team was back in 1969. Now Barnes will be replaced by the player's favourite, Theodore Whitmore, another coach unbeaten at the international level for Jamaica. Donald Oliver, CVM Sports.